Welcome. Temporal mandibular joint syndrome, TMJ, quite commonly seen with people with, uh, who have bad bites, uh, particularly from uh, occlusion problems in the back of the teeth, from lots of stress. But what about forward head posture? Forward head posture, very common, often quite missed. Understand when we're spending time in a forward head position, when the head being 12 pounds for every inch, it goes forward an additional 10 pounds for one inch, 22, two inch, 32 pounds, three inches forward, 42 pounds of stress. And obviously beyond three inches becomes more pounds of stress. That's what the back of the neck, shoulders, joints, muscles, ligaments, and discs have to withstand from the weight of that head. Now, accumulatively over time, the hours you're putting there over days, weeks, months, and years is causing a lot of distortion, distress, affecting the disc, causing the annular fibers around the disc to become weaker. The inside nucleus pulposus of the disc to protrude out, affect the nerves, causing pinched nerves and pain. The problem here is that you're going for therapy, trying to help your disc problems, uh, maybe getting uh, cortisone injections, uh, maybe getting physical therapy, maybe getting epidurals, whatever you're getting. But the bottom line is you still haven't corrected the causation of your problem. You can correct the symptom, but if you're not getting to the root, it's going to lead to further and future problems. So I urge you just to let you know that when your head goes forward, the suboccipital muscles have to withstand as well as the posterior muscles of the retractors, the upper trap muscles. Uh, they become stretched, they become weaker as well as the rhomboid muscles. The front of the chest starts to round as the weight of the head goes forward, as you get that forward pronation of the shoulders. What happens as your neck goes forward, automatically the brain tells the body, because if your neck goes forward, you're looking down at the ground. But you notice people don't walk around with their neck looking down on the ground, so generally the body, the brain, tells the muscles in the suboccipital region to contract. As it contracts, it lifts the head upwards. As it lifts it upwards, you start having involvement of the temporalis, the masseter muscles, as well as the medial and lateral pterygoid muscles, which are some muscles in the facial area inside the cheeks. Those muscles start to contract, and when they contract, it throws off the joint of the TMJ. So I can tell you that TMJ has a direct influence from forward head posture. It's proven, the records show it, the medical research shows it, and I'm telling you it's missed about 90% of the time because they'll treat your TMJ, they'll give you bite, uh, uh, bite molds to wear, they'll, they'll do all these kinds of expensive tests on you, take all these types of uh, x-rays and CAT scans and do all this sophisticated scientific stuff, but they're still not getting to the root of the problem because that forward head posture needs to be addressed. So I'm gonna ask you, the chin tucks are one of the most important things because people are always asking, what's the best way to help my problem? Chin tucks, okay, from the side, keep your chin level, just tuck back in as you get a double chin like this. Okay, now notice I'm not bringing my head down or up, just straight, plain, neutral, like this, just straight back. You hold it five, six seconds, relax. Five, six seconds, relax. Uh, I actually would like you to do this, particularly when you're driving against the back of the seat. Just push up against the back of the seat five, six seconds. Do like, you know, 12 or 13 of those. Do those every day, uh, one or two sets, and you'll start to feel the muscles, the anterior flexor muscles start to get stronger, holding the neck more erect. The other thing is the rhomboid muscles, rhomboid muscles, uh, uh, basically, you know, there's one of my exercises in there. You could just kind of grab your, 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 your arms like this, and just pull back like this as you're trying to retract this way, but you're just retracting as you're contracting in the back as the posterior deltoids, rhomboids start to contract. You could take light dumbbells, lean over, and come up like this as you're coming all the way up. Um, there's different methods you can do for the rhomboids. Uh, but the key thing is the muscles between the shoulder blades needs to be targeted and the chest muscles get inside a door and stretch. Put your hands on both sides of the door and just lean in and stretch those chest muscles because as these chest muscles get tight, as they get contracted, they're going to round you forward. So it's a whole vicious cycle. But what I want you to focus on, uh, my listeners, is very simple. I want you to, to look more in depth than the symptom. Symptoms are usually the last to come, the first thing to go away. But usually when you have a symptom, people target the symptom like you're a fish or you're like a bait. And they want to go ahead and throw the bait out at you to try to catch the fish. But the bottom line is you need to get to the root of the problem rather than just trying to treat those symptoms. Because if you don't get to the root or the cause, those symptoms are going to keep coming back. You're going to spend lots of money, lots of time, and unfortunately, lots of suffering. I hope this video was effective for you to give you a little more insight about posture, about TMJ. Uh, but what I also wanted to mention, you can go ahead, take your thumb, you can rub in those muscles on the outside of the masseter muscles, and you'll know they're a little tender 
Okay, now another thing I also, also want to mention before uh, I close out this video is I want relaxation because tension, stress, all has an effect on muscles. Muscles contract when you're under more anxiety, more stress, more tension. So try to really take those deep breaths, do them regularly, make time, take walks, meditate, read a book, do things you enjoy doing, get your mind off the pain and just kind of enjoy life and uh, smell the roses. I ask you to do that. I think you'll see a big turnaround if you do those things. So as I said, share this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you have not because i like you to continue to get more self-help videos. Uh, you can go back to my channel and see hundreds of self-help videos and hopefully those will help you and your family. Uh, most important, i like you to make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.